Hello Bomb Minions! So first and foremost, I wanted to make a comment on my lighting. Please let me know if you think that this is good. I can't actually tell myself, okay? I feel like I always give that type of disclaimer when I change the lighting. I can't tell myself, so you let me know if you think it's good. Right now, I have my window open over there. I have a lamp here, and then I have my other light hanging on the wall kind of above me, okay? So let me know if this is good. Now that that's been said, today I'm going to be doing a thoughts type of review type of thing on the Graveyard Girl from Tarte palette. This is not going to be a very positive review. So if you are one of Bunny's little cronies or, you know, fans, if that's what you want to call yourself, whatever, um, then please leave. I don't want to receive any threats because I don't particularly like this palette. I don't want to be bullied because I don't particularly like this palette. My friend Meg had made a review video and she had to disable the freaking comments because people were being downright nasty, okay? It is just a fact of life that not everybody is going to love something and that's the beauty of the world, you know? Everybody has different opinions and they're entitled to them and if I want to make a video that isn't 100% positive on something, I'm allowed to do that. I think that's a good thing when something has varying reviews, okay? So if you don't like that, then please leave. And if you do happen to comment with some nasty bullshit, you're going to be deleted. Okay? That's just the way it is. Constructive criticism, always welcome. Nasty shit, absolutely not. Okay? I have said my piece. I will get into this review thing. I will probably keep this kind of short and sweet because there really isn't too much to say about this. I'm not going to be doing really any swatches because honestly there's enough of those out there. You know, if you want swatches, there are other videos, there are other reviews you know, between YouTube and blogs and whatever out there. To give a little background, okay, just to give a little bit of background, I had really no intentions of buying this palette. I am not the hugest fan of Bunny. I don't hate her, you know, I'm just not a big fan of her. You know, I, I don't... It's just personal taste, okay? It has nothing to do with her, it's just... She's not my thing. So I didn't really have many intentions of buying this palette, you know, I thought it was cool overall that she had a collaboration going with Tarte, you know, I thought like, oh, what a cool concept, you know, whatever. I just didn't have any intentions of getting it myself. Uh, my sister, on the other hand, is a big fan of Bunny, and she finally... Oh! I was bombed by some micellar water, what the hell? My sister, on the other hand, is a big fan of Bunny. She loves her videos, and she actually does love this palette, but she doesn't wear makeup, okay? So we were in Sephora one day, one of my <laughs> rare, rare visits to Sephora. So we go into Sephora, and she's like, oh, well, you look at the Bunny palette. And I was like, all right, if they have it, I'll look at it, all right? Because, you know, supposedly these things have been just flying off the shelves, and I didn't really expect them to have it, but lo and behold, they had tons of them. So I checked it out, and now one of the reasons why I don't like Sephora is because the lights. The lights are too bright for me, and I find that also they just kind of distort everything that you're looking at, you know? I have tried stuff on my hand in Sephora, and then I get it home, and it looks completely different. So I try not to be deceived, but this was one of those times that I just allowed it to get to me. And I swatched a few of the shadows and a few of the face products. A few of the face products. There's only a few. <laughs> and I was just like, whoa, I love this. I really love this. So I decided, okay, I'll get it, all right? Not just because my sister was begging me to buy it, but because I really liked the way that it had swatched in the store, okay? Those are the keywords in the store. I get it home, right? Get it home, get it out of the box, and I start looking at it, okay? And I'm like, this thing has way too much glitter. Just way too much. It's like a freaking disco ball blew up and sprinkled all of its little fragments all over this palette. It is absurd. Like, even fresh out of the box, like, not even touched, you know, I took one of the freaking back ones, for Christ's sake. You know, I took one of the back ones so that I knew, I knew that it wouldn't have been touched. And it had fallout. It had fallout all over the freaking palette from other shadows that have a crap load of glitter. It is just absurd. 
the amount of glitter that is in this palette. Look at that freaking disco town right there. This, this shadow right here is the town from Footloose. Just, oh, dance party right in there in that shadow. That highlighter up there, look at this in here. Disco ball. Honestly, to me, almost impossible to use this palette because of the amount of glitter in it. Um, you know, I, I've used this palette a handful of times and there are times where I'm like, God damn it. And I have to just knock the glitter out of some of the shadows, which is more work. I have to, you know, spend so much time like tapping my brush to make some glitter fall out of the brush. It's just crazy. And it's not even the type of glitter eyeshadow where, okay, you know, I might have a lot of glitter, but once it is stuck to my eye, it doesn't budge. You know, it adheres to my eye. That's not the case with this because once it's on your eye, it doesn't sit there. It just falls out all over your face. And then by the end of the day, you look like a member of the Cullen family. You know, and it's such a shame to me, the amount of glitter in here, because there are some shades in this palette that I really do like. This is haunting right? Okay, that's a really, really nice shade, okay? But I have to work so hard on getting the glitter fallout from the highlighter out of there that I just never want to freaking use it. I have watched Bunny's video about this palette, you know, it was like a 30 minute video, I watched the whole thing, and she was talking about, you know, how she really, really wanted to create something that was universal, that everybody can use. You know, she wanted to put a little something for everybody in here. And while I appreciate the sentiment, and I appreciate that maybe that's what she was going for, I feel like there is a very, very small demographic of people that can actually use this palette. Okay, that's just my thoughts and opinions on it, I feel like it is a very, very small group of people that can use this on a daily basis. And that's fine if that's what she was going for, you know, I do understand that maybe her demographic of fans might fall within that, that bracket of people, but for somebody who, you know, just really liked the look of it and they go and, and grab it, pick it up, whatever, and they are just so off-put by the amount of glitter in here. That's not something that everybody can use. Now, the other complaint that I have about this is that I feel like Tarte really dropped the ball with the quality. I feel that these shadows just... When you pat them onto your eye, they're fine, you know? But once you want to blend them, they just kind of muddy themselves together. Sometimes they just blend away all together. They just don't function very well. And I don't love Tarte eyeshadows in the first place. You know, Tarte is not a brand that I think of when I think of my favorite eyeshadows. They're just not. But I've had a couple palettes in the past that, you know, they were really good, you know? I won't say great. I won't say, oh, I would recommend everybody run out and buy Tarte, you know? But... They've had a couple palettes in the past that I really enjoyed and the, I found that the shadows were decent quality and I found that they have always kind of catered to maybe an older demographic, you know, somebody that maybe has hooded or crinkly eyelids, you know. But this palette, I feel like they seriously dropped the ball. Now I don't know, okay, this is just speculation. I don't know this for a fact, so don't, you know, go quoting me or, you know, thinking that this is gospel or whatever. But my feelings, okay, my personal feelings are that Tarte intentionally dropped the ball on this palette because they knew that the Graveyard Girl name would sell the palette itself, you know? Like, oh, we don't need to sell this palette with impeccable products because we're putting Bunny's YouTube name onto the palette, so that will ensure that we will sell at least several million of this product. You know what I'm saying? And that's how I feel about this, okay? And that's honestly how I feel about most collaborated products. I typically don't buy them. Every now and then I'll pick one up because I'm like, oh, I particularly like that. But more often than not, 
I just stay away from that shit because that is typically how it goes. You know, a lot of times, you know, that person doesn't even have their hands in the creation of that product. They just slap their name on it because they know that that is an easy sell. You know, it's an easy sell if you put Graveyard Girl's name on something. It's an easy sell if you put Manny MUA on something. You know what I'm saying? It's an easy sell if you put Nikki Tutorials on something. Now, I'm not saying that, you know, all of those products are crap. I'm just saying that when you put a big person's name on something, it's an easy sell because they have so many followers. These do not feel like other Tarte products to me. You know, that highlighter, like, they have so many great formulations of highlighter, okay? They, they have several that I have had that I love, okay? So why use this? You know what I mean? This is crumbly, and this is glittery, and this gets all over your face, and it doesn't blend out well. Why use this when you have other products that are, are great? Or that blush formulation. Why use that when you could be using the Amazonian Clay Blush formula? That is awesome. You know, it is a bestseller. People love it. Why use that bronzer when you could be using the Park Avenue bronzer that is amazing and also a bestseller. Like, why why do that? You know, you already have these great formulations. Why put these lesser formulations into this palette? So overall, there are a few shadows in this palette that I do like. I love that haunting shade. I think that that's a great transitional shade for me on my skin. Um, there, there are, I really like uh, this shade Sassy Bun. I think that's a nice shade. I have that all over my lid today. I think it looks good. I'm a fan. I like the packaging. I think the packaging is really cute. I like the way it looks. Honestly, that's the only <laughs> real reason why I'm keeping this palette because I think that it looks cute on display. Like, I, I do really like it. But as a whole, this is a complete dud. <laughs> okay, this is a complete dud. I honestly would not recommend this to anybody. Like, if somebody came up to me and they said, hey, I'm thinking of getting a new palette. This would not be what comes to mind for me. <laughs> it would, it, it just wouldn't. Um, you know, nothing really stands out about it enough for me to be like, yeah, you should go get that. I mean, I have it, so the shades that I do like, I do use. It is a pain in the ass knocking all that glitter out of it when I do want to use some of them, but because I have it, I make it work. But it's not something that I would be like, oh yeah, you gotta run out and get this palette. You know, there are certain palettes that are like that for me. That is absolutely, hands down, not one of them. Sorry if I offended anybody, okay? I will say that again. I am sorry if people don't like that I don't like this palette. But hey, not everybody can love everything, okay? So that will be that with this video, and I will talk to you guys later. Ta-ta.